So Chris doesn't quite get to, uh, on air etiquette. So that sorry about that. That was uh, styrofoam popping away because he didn't think before he did it. Anyways, so <laughs> next up is a band that we all know and love. This is a band called Lord Num. This is one of my favorite songs by him. This one's called The Ghost of Divers. Dig this. Lord Numb with Ghost of Divers. I just realized I didn't tweet that, so I'm tweeting that right now. But that is probably one of my favorite Lord Numb songs, uh, just because it's so tripped out. And it's got relevance to it, because uh, when he had gone on vacation years ago with his wife, they went to this place where there's a lot of people that went diving and got cut out in the other tour or what have you, and they passed away, they pretty much drowned. So that's why it's called the Ghost of Divers. Uh, people possibly seeing uh, spirits and ghosts swimming around in that area in Egypt. Lord Numb, what, what can I say? Yeah, that a great tune, very trippy. Yeah, liked it a lot. Wow, yeah, I mean, again, it's like so exciting, their stuff. I love listening to it, and you could really hear the kind of water effect um, at the beginning, which I really enjoyed. Love all the experimental sounds and stuff, and love the poetic lyrics as well. And yeah, the the vocals, he's got such great kind of vocal control. It was just, yeah, I 
I'd want to listen to it again already. You know, it's that it gave me that kind of feeling. Brilliant. Right on. So next up we have this is an oldie but a goodie, <laughs> so to speak. This is uh, an old one by Grim off his very first EP. And uh, this one is called Quick Nobody Smile. Dig this. smile and uh that is uh definitely one of my favorite tunes if not my favorite tune by Grimm. and uh i'm not sure he's not really working on new stuff now that i know i know he's kind of jamming around but uh kind of wish he would because the last ep came out i think it was like 2014 with its now said turn your computer off so and that was a good one too and he made he did a couple of like mixes in between but not too much but yeah i always i think he, he's one of my favorites for sure very, very good tune, very powerful, just impact, like the bang, and then it was good. I liked it a lot. Yeah, um, I mean, I I haven't heard stuff from him, Fage, and it's really good to hear that. I mean, the sort of experimental, eerie stuff, and it, it kind of reminded me 
of uh, David Bowie a bit, Black Star, um, you know, off the Black Star album. Right. Just a bit kind of off, you know what I mean? Off beat and all of that kind of stuff. So that was really interesting listening to that. But yeah, I mean, it's one of those tracks I can imagine you just need to kind of play really loud and get the speakers thumping, you know, to get the full effect from it. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to start nagging. <laughs> well, that uh, the first EP. I think I think it. <laughs> well, that 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 first EP was uh, called Digital Throw Up, so pretty funny. But uh, he kind of had a point to that when he, ta when he talked about it. So yeah. <laughs> but it was funny too because when I asked him to do the interview, he's like, "Like, well, what times? It'll probably be about two a.m. your time." He goes, "Well, I guess I have to. If I'm gonna be a big star, I'm gonna be able to stay up late." <laughs> <laughs> so, and yeah, he he was he was a good sport about it. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> So, yeah. so next up we have a, uh, another new one by the the final clause of Tactus. This one's called Seven Years. Dig this. <laughs> Tell me what you've got 